Fresh from Fresh and Felicia, we're going to talk about the, bro you call this baby. Baby. Brother <laughs> SE2000. It's a combination embroidery and sewing machine. It is. It is amazing. It's been a lot of fun to play with today. Now, embroidery has become a big thing. You know, if you ever go to a, like a car dealer or a, a golf club or a doctor's office, doctor's office, everybody has embroidered designs on their shirts. They don't, you don't, you don't usually don't see heat transfer vinyl or, or dye sub, which we've done yeah. all that stuff and we've covered right. that here on the channel. So yeah. this is kind of next level classy professional level stuff but before you were never able to do this at home because the machines were so expensive yeah remember going into the big box stores and oh, look at yeah, the price yeah. of those how many digits was that yeah. way the decimal too point? many <laughs> it, was, it was a little crazy and it kind of turned us off so brother has come out with this machine which is a combination sewing and embroidery machine yes i would call it an embroidery and sewing machine okay embroidery i think most people are going to buy this for the embroidery and it's nice to have a sewing machine as well i agree right? i agree all right so tell me about this machine here well, tell me about the embroidery. So it's got wireless connectivity. Okay. It has a USB port on the side here that accepts um, PES files. Mm -hmm. It's got 193 built-in embroidery designs, 13 built-in embroidery fonts. Wow. It accepts a 5x7 hoop, which I think is plenty big enough to do almost all your projects you would do for home. Most we, of the shirts are going to be 2 or 3 inches. If you're boarding a shirt, right? 2 or 3 inches, maybe a blanket. I don't know that how, you know... I don't think five, I don't think you need much more than five yeah. by seven to be honest. I think honest. that's a pretty good size. It's pretty generous. Um, and it stitches embroidery stitches six hundred and fifty stitches a minute. It's pretty fast. It is very fast. It's not fast. zipping around here when you're doing these four projects earlier yeah. today. Yeah, yeah, it's quick. Pretty easy to use. I thought it was pretty easy to use. Yeah, yeah. Did absolutely. you break any needles? No. With the last one, I broke lots of needles. Why? Like your first couple of days. Why? I'm not really sure. I didn't do anything different this time than the last time, but today I broke zero needles and did four designs, four embroidery designs, and about four or five stitches just to try them out. I noticed something was different when you did these designs. You didn't have all the strings on the top. Why is that? Right, because it's got a new feature uh, built into it. It's a jump stitch trimming feature. Hmm. And um, it trims it from behind versus on the top. So I didn't, I didn't have to go back through it or stop it as it was stitching to trim all these little uh, loose all ends. The threads there, yeah. yeah. yeah that's pretty cool. That it was, I'm like, there's nothing here. Something's different. It's, pretty, it's that pretty nice looking, right? It does a really nice job. I yeah. think it's much more fine and much more detailed, too. I think, so. I think so, too. I really think so, too. We're not professional embroiderers. Right. We're just hobbyists and right. homemakers. But right. All right, big LCD touchscreen. What can you do on this thing? Do I need to hook it up to a computer? You don't have to hook it up a computer, no. Cool. Everything's built into it. Absolutely. But it is, it does have wireless LAN capability, so you can transfer your designs from your computer wirelessly. You can. That's nice. You can. Or you could put, use the USB. You could. And there's this crazy app thing. Was it Artspira or Artspira? Yes. It's a new app, brand new from Brother, um, works on Android and Apple. Um, we've just kind of played with it just ever so slightly, but we were able to successfully sync it to our Brother, connect them and um, transfer a file from the app mm -hmm. to the brother, so our embroidery machine, and actually stitch that out. What's really interesting in that app is you can draw your own embroidery designs. I've never seen anything like this. This is a game changer. Line art drawings, but yeah. yes, you can. Like before you had to send it out, and we use a company called Z Digitizing, which they've been fabulous. They do some great stuff, and we'll show you some of the designs they did too. But um, before this, you had to send it out and get one of those digitization files. Unless you want to buy into that software and learn yeah. that whole aspect of the business but now yeah. you can actually draw something if you're yeah. artistic you could draw something send it to the machine and it'll embroider it yes that's amazing it is it was that's a game it changer. was seamless it was easy once i got the app set up yeah simple we'll dig into that and try some samples yep. on this machine in the later video absolutely what about sewing sewing how does that work it the, sewing it cha you change out the embroidery arm to the sewing arm that it comes with it stitches 241 different stitches mm. and actually will monogram letters as well Nice. And it sews 850 stitches per minute. And that's pretty speedy. It's pretty yeah. speedy. Yeah. All right, so complete sewing machine, complete embroidery machine. I've done everything wonderfully, I think. I think so, too. It's a great machine. Well, let's dig in. Let's take a look and see what this thing can do. We'll unbox it, I'll show you some embroidery that yeah. you've done. Yep. Uh, a couple sewing stitches. Absolutely. And then maybe we'll look at the app, too. I think it's a good idea. Let's do it. Felicia, I love this machine, the new Brother SE2000. It's an amazing embroidery and sewing machine, and it's affordable. It's a game changer because it allows anyone to create embroidery masterpieces in their own. So are you going to show us what's in the box and tell us what this thing does? Absolutely. Let's take a look at the unboxing. Inside the box, you'll find the power cord. You'll find a sewing pedal, a horizontal spool pin, and then there'll be a pouch full of goodies, needles, bobbins, extra 
extra bobbin cases, thread, seam rippers, scissors, brushes, screwdrivers, caps, spool inserts. The manual comes in this. You also have this crazy looking, yeah, what is I don't this? know, a screwdriver thing. And it's actually a knee lever. Oh, I thought it was a husband beater. <laughs> and um, you also have, you have the machine itself that comes attached with the sewing arm mm -hmm. with it. Okay. You have the um, embroidery five by seven frame. The embroidery arm, that's the big piece of this. And then the sewing arm itself is a storage piece that has eight different sewing feet inside of it. Okay, so everything you need to get started with sewing or embroidery. Everything everything you could ever want to do with this. I mean, there is so much here that there's so much for us to learn. So they don't charge you for extra parts later on. They, they really just give you everything. They give you everything. I don't know what else you could possibly want. Not even the, uh, the thread there. Okay, so this is everything you get here. And uh, hard to assemble or is it pretty much ready to go? Pretty much ready to go. Okay. So we're looking at all the parts here and this is your embroidery arm. And it's got a nice screen too. It's real easy to use, real easy to see. All right, so what are we doing first? All right, first we're gonna try embroidering. So the first thing we have to do is remove that um, sewing arm from the unit and open it up and inside there, underneath the sewing feet, you will find the embroidery foot. So we're gonna grab that as well as the disc-shaped screwdriver and um, attach our arm. We simply grab our embroidery arm, we open the little connectivity slot and we just pop this arm onto the, the system. Okay. All right, make sure your machine is off before you do that. It's probably a good idea. The machine comes with the sewing foot already installed on it. So we're gonna use the disc-shaped screwdriver to unscrew the sewing foot and pop that off. We're gonna grab the embroidery foot and position it on that lever and then tighten that screw back up with our disc-shaped um, screwdriver. Okay. Looks pretty simple. Kind of taking some used to, getting used to. It does, it yeah. does. It's, you know, it can be a little clunky and get a little frustrating sometimes, but once you get the hang of it, you've got it. All right, so now we're ready. We've got our arm, embroidery arm on the machine. We just booted it up. The next thing we're gonna wanna do is um, set up our LAN connectivity. Okay. All right, it, it walks you through, the LCD screen walks you through how to do that. Um, you just gotta follow the prompts, enter the information it's asking for, and you are set, ready to go. There's a ton of different stitches in this machine and you can click through and play and, and poke around and figure out what um, the capabilities are. There's a lot of different stitches and designs we we haven't seen before. Yeah, they're endless. It seems like some I mean, I think 241 designs. It's a lot of uh, information there. It's nice when it tells you to change the, the foot and everything. Right. It tells you exactly what to do. That's right. smart. Yep. Wow, look at all that stuff. All this stuff's all ready to go and free, huh? Absolutely. Um, all right, so the first thing we're going to want to do before we can start our stitching is to pop out our bobbin from the bottom, and we're going to thread that on the top. It comes with um, a spool of bobbin thread. It comes with four bobbins, and we're going to go ahead and thread the top of the machine with the bobbin thread and kick off spinning that bobbin and getting it filled up with some uh, thread. So we're going to add our spool to the top, put our little end cap to keep that on in place, and simply follow the prompts on how to thread the machine. Add your bobbin to the top right and follow prompts one, two, three, and four. Counterclockwise thread that um, bobbin three or four times and then cut it on the little cutter that it comes with. Cool. Push the bobbin to the right and you are set and ready to go. So on the machine, click that up arrow that's orange and it will actually start the process. There's a fast forward lever as well, and you can move that slowly to the right to increase the speed in which the bobbin is actually spinning. All right, so you're gonna wanna let that run, spin it up, make it a full bobbin if you want. In my case, I cut it short. Um, and then once you're done, press that orange button to stop it, grab your scissors, cut the thread off, and you have your first bobbin spooled. You are ready to go. You could fill that all the way up, right? You absolutely could fill all the way up. I just didn't, in this particular case, I was going to do a small project anyway, so it was all good. So I'm going to take that bobbin in the bottom casing in the bottom. I am going to put that in and wrap that thread around the, um, the compartment there and then slide. It has a cutter on it as well and then slide the cap right back on. All right, so the next thing we need to do is thread the machine. All right, put the thread on the spool and put a cap on the end and then follow the prompts on the machine. One, two, three, four across the top. It walks you through, it gives you a diagram of exactly how to do it. And when you come down on three, you're gonna go back up onto four 
come back down on four and then drop through a hoop on the bottom, which is six. It's a little more difficult to see here, but you're gonna loop that thread through there and then apply that up to seven, eight, nine. We show a different angle of this, right? We do, we show a separate angle and we actually slow motion this as well. And uh, here, here you can see a better close-up of threading that hoop. Wait, what did you just do? All right, so we took it from six, we uploaded it through seven and eight, and on the side, the lever at the top is the lever that you use to auto thread the needle, which we did in slow motion right here. You just wanna make sure that that needle is in the down position when you go to auto thread. Now we're gonna use the LCD panel and we're gonna try embroidering our first project. We're gonna do a monogram. So we found the monogram letter F that we're gonna use for our project. And we're basically just kind of clicking on the screen and changing the colors that come out of default. So it comes with a gold outline by default. I kind of click through here um, and picked a different color that I thought would stand out a little bit better for the demonstration. We will have a much more detailed video coming up that walks you through exactly how to do these settings here. But um, the plus and minus actually walk you, through, walk you through what the default or preset colors are going to be and then you can use the, uh, the color palette there and the arrows to scroll through and pick the colors that you would like to use. Hmm. Once you're happy with the colors, you'll then simply click that OK button to move on to the next step. All right, from this screen, you are ready to embroider, so hit that embroidery button. All right, it shows you on the LCD screen what the colors order is gonna be. Those are the colors I've chosen to use for my project. And I'm gonna go ahead and thread my first color. But before I do that, I'm gonna actually hoop uh, my material and my stabilizer. So I'm gonna take my hoop and I'm gonna unscrew it to separate the two pieces. I'm then going to take the bottom, the bigger hoop, and um, put the stabilizer and the fabric on top of that and then take the smaller hoop and place inside the larger hoop. And you're gonna want, it's gonna be a little bit snug. I didn't loosen the hoop super much, I guess I should say. And um, i trying to get it in there as tight as I can. I loosen the hoop just a tiny bit to get it in there. And you just want that fabric to be really taut. You don't want it to be loose. Once you have it all ready, you're gonna uh, go ahead and tighten the screw at the bottom to keep it locked in nicely. All right, so go ahead and slide the hoop and the material under the foot that's been raised and attach it to the arm. There's a couple of notches there. You have, um, you can see real closely here, there's a couple of notches we're actually sliding that hoop into. And that lever that's sticking up is what you would click on to release the hoop from it. So we're gonna pop it right back on there. The locks in there. Yes. All right, once you're ready to go, you hit that green start button and off and running you are. You can see the detailed stitching here as it moves along. And It'll show you where you are. It shows you on the on the LCD screen oh, cool. exactly what stitches. what color you're on, the number of stitches you have, how long it's going to take on the current color. When it's finished with the color, it stops, and it tells you on the LCD screen what the next color needs to be, and you go through that whole threading process. Um, how easy you make. You will get very good at threading so the machine. Oh well, it takes a lot of time practice. You want to make sure that the foot is in the down position when you go to auto thread it. It is slightly different than the previous machine I had. Does this stabilizer come with the machine? The stabilizer does not come with the machine and we will have a, a link to what we're using here in this project in the description below. There it is. All right, there is our first monogrammed embroidered wow. project. It's looks, pretty big. Looks pretty good, right? Yeah. And then you can see that new feature they have with the jump stitches. Um, they come through on the back, so you don't have all those little stitches sitting on the front. Sorry. All right, so here we're going to use our USB stick and we're going to go grab a file that we had on our computer. So the USB stick is on this, the right side of the machine and we're actually going to navigate to where we have that stored, grab our image, and we're going to, out of the box, just run with the color scheme and this is what we pulled. This is actually from Z Digitizing. It's a gorgeous butterfly. Yeah, they do some nice work. Yeah, they do. Beautiful. 
And here I'm using a magnetic hoop instead of the hoop that came with it. It's something I've, I've used in previous machines and it works really well for me. All right, here's another design we grabbed from designbundles.net. Um, just kind of give another example of how easy it is to use the machine and how you, this was actually really neat because it's got a different pattern for the type of stitching oh, you're wow. using. Yeah. It's almost got a texture to it. it right? Yeah, it's cool. And it knows exactly where to put all these stitches. That's amazing. It's amazing. Here it is. Gorgeous. It's like bricks and stone. It's really <laughs> It's neat. pretty cool, right? I think Z Digitizing did this one for us. This was one of our logos. And again, I'm using the magnetic hoop on this one as well. Oh, that looks great. Look that at look that. look nice? Yeah. They did a really great job with this. And the machine is amazing. It's just great. All right, so let's take a look at sewing and let's remove the embroidery arm. There's a little latch on the bottom of that. I'm going to pull that latch and just slide the like, embroidery arm off and pop the uh, sewing foot in. And for sewing, you're going to need a foot pedal. So the foot pedal attaches on the right, drop that onto the floor, and then you can kind of scroll through the LCD screen and pick and choose some, some stitches to play around with. This is really what I'm doing is I'm just kind of scrolling through, finding a couple of stitches that I think look kind of cool, and I want to stitch them and just kind of get an idea of what they're like. I've actually not only changed out the sewing arm, or embroidery arm for the sewing arm, but I've also replaced the embroidery foot with the sewing foot. Wow, look at these. These are all built in? These are all built in. There's 241 built in designs and you can get an idea of what each one of the designs looks like when you flip that top lid up where the threading happens and the, the you know, samples of the designs are, or the stitches are up on that screen. That's pretty neat. They have some embroidery, I mean some uh, monograms in there, right? They do. We did, we did one. We'll show it to you here in just one second when we get a close up. Middle one is a B, it's sideways here, but mm -hmm. it's a B, and that's the one of the monogram fonts they have for sewing. The Art Spira or Art Spira app is what is brand new to Brother, and it helps get you connected from the app to your machine and allows you to transfer files wirelessly from the app to the machine. Um, we found this to be very clever, very unique. So all these designs are on the app? All these designs are on the app. You can scroll through and all there's embroidery designs. There's also cutting designs if you have one of their cutting machines. Well, this is what I want to see. You actually drew something and embroidered it. We did. We came in here and just using your finger on a small mobile phone, um, actually drew some letters and some letters and then grabbed a shape huh. and um, sent it to the machine to stitch. Oh, wow. I, this is, I mean, you know, this is digitizing. This, this is, is really, really this is really dig digitizing in a simple form. Absolutely. But you can only do line art. You can't do anything really com complicated. No, you can't do anything complicated here at all. No color it, changes yet? No, not that I could find yet. Um, now we're Probably gonna, coming, right? We're going to dig into the app a little bit deeper. This gives you actually a play, a preview, play preview oh, yeah. of what it's going to look like as it, it, did, oh, as it, as it's sewing, as it's sewing the, the, the design. Wow. So you transfer it wirelessly huh. to your machine, um, the machine finds it, and then you can start sewing. Look at and that. here's an example. This is what you did with your finger. Right. You something your something finger super simple. The, that's amazing. Right. We were talking, maybe we could do something to do much more detailed if we did it on, on maybe the iPad, iPad with, with a, a pen, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Like people have some art skills, draw flowers and absolutely simple line absolutely. art. Wow. That's amazing. I think this is next level. This is an amazing app that they've created here. It's only going to get better. I suppose they're going to come out with some new updates and maybe some improvement. Agreed. And, we, and we're going to dig into it too. Well, thank you, Felicia, oh, for this thank you, beautiful Fresh. overview of the SE2000. Make sure you subscribe and check back for more in-depth videos on how to use this wonderful machine.